Friday Football Fever, sponsored by GTCC and Shift Ed. Welcome to week nine of Friday Football Fever. Boy, it is hard to believe we are quickly winding down the regular season. That's right, time just feels like it is flying by. Yep, and we have some big time matchups all across the triad. We begin with our game of the week, West Forsyth at Davie County. Uh, on the second play of the game, it came in Chaplin here, taking the handoff, getting past two defenders, turning on the Jets. Nobody is catching him. After going for two, Titans go up 8-0. Davie County's first drive on offense. Markel Summers taking the handoff, getting to the outside, and he is just as he fast. Gone. War Eagles on the board. The game slowing down a little bit after this. War Eagles fumbling the exchange. Uh -oh. Torian Johnson falling on that, getting the ball back for the Titans. On the next play, Burt Rice finds Chaplin, and you know what he does. Exact same thing he did before. West Forsyth goes up for this goes up a score. Ty Miller connecting with Gray Deal down the middle for a clear path to the end zone. West Forsyth goes on to win it though, 50 Shoot 42. Up. Grimsley is undefeated so far in 2023 and look to remain that way after a matchup with Southwest Gilbert. And is there a better way to start a game than by finding your four star UNC commit? Honestly, it's the only way. <laughs> Faison right. ran into Alex Taylor for the 60 plus yard. Touchdown, 7 0 Whirlies. And after a Southwest punt, Grimsley's ball, and it's the first touch of the day for Mitchell Summers, and he's out the gate. 55 yards later, he's in the box. Another touchdown for the Whirlies. The Cowboys, they would go on the score on their next possession. It's Noah Sneed taking the direct snap, hitting that far sideline as he tiptoes his way into the end zone, but Grimsley remains perfect. Final score 49 to 6. Dudley looked to move to 8-0 with a win over Rockingham County tonight. The Cougars defense coming up big early on as Jake Chandler makes the fourth down tackle. He'll turn the ball over on downs. Then the Dudley offense gets rolling as LJ Southern takes it in for the touchdown here. 7-0 Panthers. The Panthers defense joins in on the party as Trey Green and Ishmael Monde combine for the tackle for loss. Later on, Dudley's Andrew Atmore with the perfect pass finding Cordell Bartley in stride for the touchdown. Dudley goes on to win it big, 49 to seven. And Reesville was back in action at home inside Community Stadium, stadium against Walker Town. Owley screen pass to Q Shine flipping and he's off for the Rams touchdown. He is gone. I mean, just going, going, going inside the touchdown. Lee finds a wide open Kendry Harrison for another Reesville touchdown goes right on in there and lead a Harrison and you got to watch this. I mean, he breaks multiple Ooh. tackles, finds the end zone once again for the Rams. Look at him. He is moving, 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 and he is in there. <laughs> Pretty nice. And if it works twice, you got to do it again. Lee and Harrison connect for their third TD of the half. Reedsville wins it 54 to wow. nothing. We had a Davidson County showdown tonight in Denton as South Davidson played host to East Davidson. And it's Brogan Hill. He takes the handoff, grows through that Wildcat defense, and 35 yards later, he's rolling. And he's in 7 0 East. Now, South Davidson looking for some points, looking for anything really. But it's the QB Hayden Ireland's pass is picked oh. off by Ryan Hill. And Hill with a nice little return there. Setting up this, it's Tegan Hedrick who finds Eris Romero. And Romero does the rest as he. Sheds a defender, and he's in the end zone for another Golden Eagles touchdown. East Davidson wins it 52 to nothing. It was homecoming tonight at East Forsyth as the Eagles took on Reynolds. First quarter here, East Forsyth is Jalen Murray with a 14-yard touchdown run. East takes the 7-0 lead with that. Reynolds, Braden, Ray tackled here Whoa. in the backfield by Kamor Pouncey. Quarterback Bryce Baker's pass goes to J.P. Gilchrist for the seven yard touchdown. East taking a three touchdown lead. The Eagles getting it done on the other side of the ball too. Elijah Hawkins sacking mm. Thomas Elrod. That's a 10 yard loss. Baker's pass this time to Jareer Richburg for the one yard touchdown. East for Scythe now up 28 nothing. You can see where this game is going. East for Scythe wins it 52 nothing. And I made the trip over to Page as the Pirates kicked off against conference rival Northern Guilford. 
We picked this one up late in the third quarter. Nighthawks up 21 to seven, but it's Pages Davion Barley getting in for the Pirates touchdown, cutting Northern's lead to just six after the two point conversion. In the, later in the half, the Page defense was lights out. There's Alex Jones coming up with the big sack. In the next play, Jackson Kemp has, oh, oh, it's picked off. It's Anthony Peel reading his eyes like his favorite chapter book. And Peel has no one in his way. He takes it to the house, giving Page the one point lead. And the Pirates, they pick up their second win in a row, 25 to 21. And now to our Friday football fever shift at play of the week. For this one, we go to last night's Glen and Mount Tabor matchup. Spartans quarterback Jaden Wallace throws it up and senior wide receiver Jordan Wolverton jumps and makes the great catch and then takes it in for the touchdown. A 62 yard Wallace to Wolverton connection for our Friday football fever week nine shift at play of the week. And we've got four conference games in the running for next week's GTCC Game of the Week, and you can help us pick it. Head to WFMYNews2.com to cast your vote. You can vote as many times as you like. Just remember, voting ends Wednesday at 5 p.m. And switching to the pros, the Carolina Panthers are still searching for their first win of the season. And you can watch them try again this weekend right here on our air. Carolina plays the red hot Miami Dolphins. The game is in South Florida, but kickoff is at 1 p.m. on WFMY, your official home of the Carolina Panthers. Now we got to talk about weather. <laughs> um, well, it's going to rain tomorrow. Aww. <laughs> Sorry. But it's, it's a good thing for the plants and all the, the, the plants and all that great stuff, it's too. It's great to watch football from your couch on WFMI. <laughs> That's right. That's what I'll be doing. <laughs> one o'clock, mm -hmm. right? We'll see you next week. Check <laughs> Sunday at one o'clock. Yeah, it's going on Sunday. 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 Yeah. Friday Football Fever, sponsored by GTCC and Shift Ed.